The Prince and Princess of Wales are no doubt excited for their children Prince George, Prince Charlotte, and Prince Louis to finish their first year at Lambrick School and embark on their summer holidays. It seems they enjoyed spending a fortnight on the privately owned car-free island, where most travel around by bike, as locals spotted them smiling from ear to ear. The Prince and Princess of Wales have visited the tiny silly island with their three children and have been spotting smiling widely. Their bodyguards had big smiles too. It was clear to see it had been a really good holiday. They are well accustomed to jet setting across the globe on royal tours, engagements, and even family holidays. And to avoid the pre-flight airport chaos, did you know the royals have access to a private, luxurious Windsor suite at Heathrow Airport? Ideal for royals, world leaders, and A-list celebrities alike. Prince William and Princess Kate are treated to chauffeur service, private luxury suites, Michelin star menus, and even unlimited champagne when they fly from England's busiest airport. No such thing as a grab-and-go sandwich from Pret for these royals. Instagram photos from real-life passengers show an array of sweet treats likely to be popular with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. While one photo reveals decadent pastries filled with pistachio and drizzled in honey, other pictures show chocolate fondue served with marshmallows, shortbread, and fresh strawberries. More posts from the Terminal 5 secret spot feature decadent dishes fit for the king, including barbecue pulled chicken with solaric slaw, spiced sea bream with warm chickpea and samphire salad, confit tomatoes, charred aubergine puree and saffron aioli, and steamed sea bass with bergamot marmalade and pickled fennel. Kate and William's culinary luxury doesn't stop when they leave the lounge, as British Airways' fine dining menus for the first-class patients is a feast for the eyes. Previous seasonal menus have included oak-smoked Gressingham duck, Italian burrata with a summer truffle and lobster tortellini with clam and sweet corn chowder. In years gone by, the couple have taken their kids off the coast of Cornwall to the Isles of Scilly with Prince George, who turns 10 on Saturday, celebrating his ninth birthday on Tresco, the second largest island of the archipelago. The island, which has just 175 residents, can only be visited by air or sea, so they took a short helicopter ride from New Quay to Britain's answer to the Caribbean. An onlooker said that they saw the royals had a perfect trip as they looked both happy and relaxed when heading home. The family of five have reportedly stayed at Dolphin House, the six-bedroom cottage which costs upward of £4,000 to rent for the week. There is plenty to do on the island from venturing out on the crystal water by boat, kayak, or paddleboard, to exploring the ruins of Cromwell Castle or the famous Abbey Garden. Visitors can also kick back at the Tresco Island Spa, and it's likely the Prince and Princess of Wales, who often play tennis together, would make the most of the court. The island boasts indoor and outdoor swimming pools with spa facilities, a full range of luxury treatments, tennis courts, and two gyms. All guests staying on Tresco enjoy access to the spa facilities. Another resident who lives on the Isles of Scilly also told the royal family can expect to be granted a great deal of privacy when on the island, particularly when staying at Dolphin House. The representative described the island as very secluded, and the old granite rectory, which has views toward the Round Island Lighthouse, has a large private walled garden. Those on Tresco are used to the odd famous face as A-listers such as Jude Law have visited the exclusive island in the past.